We're going to field strip this nice cheap 22 the Marlin 795. Okay, first let's see if it's unloaded. It's a semi-automatic. So of course, here's the bolt. Feeds from a tube. Ah, tube. Feeds from a magazine. Here's the bolt. It's on safety already. So, pull it back. Let's check. Um, you can't really see in there, but there's nothing in there. Um, and of course, you can see the the um, follower, the the clip there. Take out the clip. There's nothing in there. It's completely empty. So this gun is safe. Um, don't field strip it or take it down when the bolt's pulled back. Just don't, cause it's you gotta keep it forward. What I like about this Baron Ruger 1022, it's even though if it looks really similar to Ruger 1022, it's a lot more easier to take apart, less screws to take out, and um, when it's brand new, it's hard to take out the bolt. That's gotta be the hardest part to put back in is the bolt. So I'm gonna take it apart right now. This could be one long clip. The clip you're watching right now is gonna be one long clip, and after it'll cut, and after I'll do a safety check to see if it's if everything functions well after I'm done feeding, field stripping it. Only need this screwdriver. Um, flathead. So, ah, come on, get out. What's going on here? Trying to make, make a waste time. Two screws, if you could see them. There's a screw there, there's a screw there. Take those two out. Get a towel, put your gun on the towel, just make sure those screws don't roll off the table because if they do, they're going to roll, they're going to get lost, and it's just going to piss you off, and like it pisses me off, and so on. Uh, now, the longer one is the back one because look at the shape of the, of the pistol grip or the stock, it's longer because of that, so you'll know. The longer one is the is the one that goes in the back. The back screw is the longer one. As you can see, two different sizes, see? The back screw, front screw. Okay, so the, uh... okay once that is done, you take... Now, if you look right here, here's the uh, bolt release right here. You're going to have to take this out. Pull it out this way, but on an angle, because of the shape of the uh, of the um, release there. And then once that's off, you know, all I have to do is take off the stock. I always have a little bit of trouble with mine, but I put on my leg, and I just pull it right out. And then you put the stock somewhere, it is a piece of plastic. See, there's the inside. So, uh, that's the stock. Very good, cool. Okay, next. Here's your, your, here's the guts right here, okay? Here are the guts, just take a good look at it. Just for you to keep it in your, in your memory, how it looks like. Okay. There's a pin right back here. A little plastic pin, if you could see it. You got to push that out. So, you pull that out like that. And if you look right here, I want the sun to reflect off it. It comes right off. See how it does that? So, here's your whole assembly there your trigger assembly. And you could do your little cleaning in there. You could take the air gun. It's I rather take the air gun, blow all that shit out. The hammer's right there. You could see it. This piece right here is the hammer. Anyway, let's put that to the side. All right, it's already cleaned the gun. So here's your bolt. Bolt handle. All your bolt, you know, handle right there. And your recoil spring. 
and there's a little pin that's holding that recoil springs um, straight. So what you gotta do is, what I like to do, well, I guess everybody does this, you grab it, pull it down all the way, that falls down, and yeah, slowly let that go up. And so yeah. So and then there's your barrel. And that's it. That's apparently it, you guys. So follow these steps and you will know exactly how to take it apart. Hopefully my camera will catch everything on film and every little detail. Cause I know there's a lot of videos of this gun. Basically, there's a lot of videos out there that are blurry and there's not much info well hopefully this video is gonna help you now I'm gonna put it back together okay now this is when the clip stops okay now I'm gonna put it back together as you can see you can do your cleaning there you know you can clean your barrel everything's ready to go that's what I like about the Marlins 795 it's, it's simple to take apart once you take it apart once or twice you'll never forget again and a lot of Ruger fans would probably say, you know what, this is a nice gun. It is easy to take apart. It's, w it's really easy. Anyways, let's reverse now. Now you see this rough part? See, see this rough part? This is the part that's going to sit inside. Now, you want your bolt in like this. So your bolt is going to sit like that. See what I mean? It's going to sit like that. Now that hole is where the bolt handle goes. Just showing you how it goes in. Okay, that's how it goes in. I just don't want to get the oil soaked in from the towel. Because I cleaned this guy yesterday while watching anger management on TV. <laughs> so, just keep your recoil spring and pin together. Just in case, you know, get in there. This is the hard part. Uh, right there. You see it right there? It looks like a little ramp. Oh, stupid light. Not doing it properly here. Whoops. There's a little ramp right there. There's a little hole. If you could see that. Oh, shit, you can't see that. Anyways. The pin is going to have to go like this, okay? It's going to sit like that. It, it's going to sit inside like that. In that hole, okay? And just to keep the pin in place when the bolt goes back and forth. When you're shooting it. Or whatever. So this is what you do. Take your bolt. This part up. There's a hole right there. See that hole? That's where the spring goes. Spring goes in that, that hole there. Then you... Then you, uh... And you... Take that spring and you put in that hole. Now if you had the gun in front of you, it would be a lot more easier to understand what I'm trying to do. But, look, it won't do anything. Like, it keeps on flexing up and down. You can't get in. Well, this is what you do. You hold the bolt, hold the pin, and you slowly get in there. Now, if your gun's brand new like mine, it's going to be hard. But after a while, you get used to it. And then after, there. See? You push it, compress that spring all the way. You put your finger on front of the bolt. Keep that in place. And you take your this bolt here. See the way it's like that? See the way it's like an L shape sort of? You want that. You guys can't see, eh? You're gonna want to put that in that notch. See what I mean? You guys can't see it? You want to take your bolt, put it in that put, put your bolt handle in that notch in the bolt. And once that once that's in place, see what I mean? Let it go forward. It's attached. Tap it in, you know. 
So now that bolt, the bolt handles in that notch. So what you had to compress the spring, put push the spring into the bolt, and then put the bolt handle into that notch, and then so I let it go down and let it go forward. Now it's in the uh, in the bolt now, so everything's okay. That was the hardest part I used to have. I had to deal with. I mean, this is too loose, too tight. I mean, there you go. So now we're gonna put the rest of here. Sorry for showing that long part, but it had to be done. So I will continue with the video. So here we go. See that little stick, that little sticker there. Take your trigger assembly like that. sits in like that. Take your plastic pin thing, put it in the hole, line up the uh, thing there, the your holes. All right. Once that's in, it will go in. It won't move. It will stay in place. Good. Take your stock now. This is another part that I thought it was really hard to do before. Sorry for the long video, you guys. I don't know how long the video is. I'm still recording it. Oh, I can't see it. There. Okay. Now, gotta watch out for the bolt release. You gotta sort of turn it like this to get it in and you gotta play with it a little bit wiggle it in and it should just go in make sure the head of the the back of the receiver is touching lift the only thing left to do is to uh, put your trigger guard back on but remember what remember what I said the bolt Release right here is is like on a it's curved a little bit so you gotta see that little slit right there. You gotta put the uh, yeah put in the slit there like that if you saw that. So it's in the slit now and it's gonna go down. Now it's on. Really, no. long screw in the back because of the grip short screw in the front because it's flat and you can take your one and only tool you really need turn that like halfway just to make it balanced I tightened that the back screw too much I felt like the barrel Getting separated from the stock. Whoops, that's weird. All right. Okay, since we got it all put back together, let's see if it functioned well. Clip. Make sure your gun's unloaded. Make sure it's on safety. Works. Bolt release right here. Like I said, there's nothing in the gun, so you gotta so let it go forward. Very good. Thank you for watching my uh, field strip video for uh, for the Marlin 795 rifle.